Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, November 21st, 2017. Read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice, not making any recommendations always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here with video number 299 in our regular Tuesday, Thursday morning video series. Lots going on this week, uh, but it is a holiday shortened week with the U.S. markets being closed on Thursday for the Thanksgiving weekend, and I believe they're only open for half a day on Friday. I will still be putting my video out this Thursday. But with that, let's get into today's video. If you're a regular viewer, then you know I always start these videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. I want to make sure that before I put any new names forward for my watch list, I'm putting them forward in a rising market environment. And for that, I go to the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I like to step back and take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame just to get that bigger picture look. We are paying attention to this area up here where we are, just uh, in case you're a new viewer. This blue line down here is long-term support and resistance. The orange line is more medium-term support and resistance. The black diagonal line is now our short-term support resistance, and we're keeping an eye on this line. You will begin to see why I have it in here when I move it into the smaller time frame. But for now, we just want to be paying attention to this wedge pattern that's been shaping up on the Russell, this black diagonal line that has held price in from the very beginning of the year. These are monthly candles, as a reminder. We've been talking about this candle for the month of September, which was bullish, finally pushing price up and through our black diagonal uh, resistance line. And the candle for the month of October, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, was a teeny tiny candle that rested right on top of our area of support and now look the candle for the month of November was red last week we had a big red candle but now we've got a wick and price positive so I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly so we can better see this is the same orange line down here same black diagonal line and this is the area that we're kind of zooming in on right now so here's where this smaller black line comes into play so this is the dominant line. This black, darker black line here is the dominant line of support and resistance. Uh, this is a smaller um, pattern here, a line that is holding in, I was identifying this wedge pattern that was shaping up up here above the black line saying, look, if the Russell is going to continue that uptrend, it's going to need to get through this line. Maybe it's a bit confusing. I will change the color to purple so it is not confusing okay so this purple line is our smaller line defining this wedge that's happening up here so last week we had a bullish candle volume pushing us back up to this zone through the purple line and now we looks like we're getting some follow through this week I'm going to move it away from the weekly to the three month daily again you can see that purple line the price action over the last few days and we are nestled right on top of this black line here that is my my important support and resistance hope that makes sense but we use this blue line as our guide this is the eight day EMA when price on the Russell is trading above the eight day EMA it's in an uptrend and we are safe to add new names to our watch list so I will be adding a name this morning it's been a while since I put one forward. We've been kind of waiting through all of this. So um, stay tuned for our new watch list pick. And the new name we're going to add to our watch list this morning is Global Payments Inc. Ticker symbol GPN trades on the New York Stock Exchange. Before I get into the chart, let me tell you a little bit more about the company. Global Payments was incorporated in uh, 2000. It's a provider of electronic payments transaction processing services for consumers, merchants, and independent sales organizations. They operate in the United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Asia Pacific region, Czech Republic, and Russian Federation. They are a huge mobile payments processing company. 
You know at Chart of the Day Cafe, I am all about the fundamentals underneath my chart. I circle value and growth uh, as my most important metrics, and Global Payments has a really nice high value score. Um, second, it's got a forecasted earnings growth rate of 20%, a current PE of 22.97, and it pays a small dividend of 0.04%. So with that, let's get into the chart. We're looking at the five-year monthly. First thing you should see is this beautiful, beautiful uptrend that Global Payments is in. Note the two dojis in a row here, um, and then the nice bullish candle that we had last month for the month of October, and here's where we are right here right now for November. So beautiful uptrend, consolidation, bullish candle last month, and here's where we are this month. I'm going to move it away from the five-year monthly to the one-year weekly chart. Here's that consolidation. I'm going to put a line of support and resistance in here and say that on the weekly chart, this area offers some support. We are up and over the blue eight-day EMA on the weekly. Now I'm going to move it from the weekly chart to the daily chart. I'll choose the six-month daily. Sorry, my computer's a little slow. So here you can see my orange line of support and resistance, the consolidation that happened recently, and then yesterday we had this beautiful move up and over our blue eight-day EMA. So love the look of this chart. Sometimes we mention, I know everyone has their own way of doing things. Um, I like to see the blue under price. And if you would like, a great way to do it is to have the three EMA the pink line move up and over the blue. So we are getting that formation here with global payments. Not quite yet, but absolutely so close uh, to getting a three and eight cross uh, yesterday. So should we have a strong day today on global payments, we will get that three and eight cross. Along with our new watch list pick, we also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And so for that, I'm going to show you two ETFs. The first one is XLF, which is the ETF for the financial services sector. Global Payments is a payment processor, so I think this is an important chart. You can see that it's in a beautiful uptrend on the five-year monthly. And if I switch it over to the daily, you can see that it's coming into an area of support and lifting. Also wanted to show you XLY, consumer discretionary, because it's all about the consumer spending. And again, beautiful uptrend on the five-year chart, consolidated for a while and looks to be lifting here as well. Going to move it away from the monthly to the daily, and you can see that price is up and over that eight-day EMA on the daily chart. We also like to take a look at seasonality, and you can see that global payments comes into Seasonal favor at this time of year. This is from equityclock.com, an amazing site. Can't recommend it more. But uh, as you can see, it comes. It has that seasonal favor at this time of year. No guarantee that happens this year, but always good to know. Also want to, um, I'm going to include this video. It's a Kramer video. <laughs> it's a huge secular trend, right? Mobile payments, digital payments, the move from cash to doing things uh, digitally. And he is beating the drum here. This is a recent video on GPN. Looking to find a champion in a crowded market? Kramer circles back to this uh, company in the payment space. It's uh, not too long, so I'm going to include the link to it. And also, I like to go to Finviz. I want to see analyst support for my new watch list pick. Whoop, let me see if I can get it in the screen. I scooch down to this area, and as you can see, Global Payments has had um, a number of uh, positive analyst upgrades, reiterations, uh, like to see that as well. And so in summary, let's go back and check our boxes. We started today's video with a look at the Russell Index, and we note that overall the Russell's in an uptrend, with price currently up and over the eight-day EMA on the daily chart. We looked at the two ETFs, XLF and XLY, financials and consumer discretionary, both in an uptrend on the five-year chart. We looked at the chart for GPN. It's in an uptrend on the five-year chart and at an area of possible support on the daily. Emphasis on possible. It's all about price staying up and over that blue 
an eight-day EMA. It's got a great value score, a great growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 20%. Pays a current dividend yield, very small, but 0.04%. It does not have a three and eight EMA daily cross yet, but it is oh so close as we noted in our video. It's in seasonal favor and it has analyst support with some recent upgrades and of course the Kramer endorsement. Current PE of 22.97 and it has not announced earnings yet. An earnings date, I should say. As a reminder, these videos go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. I do my best to get them out before 9.30 a.m. If you like receiving them, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button. That way you get them right away. We were featuring NetEase several weeks ago. It's had a beautiful run since then. Um, a lot of these have done very well this year. I do my very best to marry up the best fundamentals with the best looking charts I can find. With that, I'll leave you. Our next video goes out on Thursday. Have a nice next couple of days. Thanks for watching.